So this is actually the 30th year officially of Batman the Animated Series. But then that evolved into Batman uh, and Robin, and then Batman Beyond, and then the Justice League, and then the Arkham games, and then all the direct-to-video movies. I mean, it's a job that just kept growing and growing over time. I'm, I know how lucky I am to have played this role. Um, and one thing I didn't understand when I started doing it was really how the character resonates with the audience. Um, Batman has a special place in people's hearts. Um, it's not like that for Superman or The Flash or Wonder Woman. It is different with Batman. When I go to Comic Cons, which I love to do, because when you do a voice, um, you send your, your performance, your, you put your heart and soul into it, and you send your performance out into the ether, and you never get to get that feedback from the audience that I'm so used to um, from stage work. Um, so when I go to Comic-Cons, I discover that's where I could get that feedback from. And the interaction with the audience and the fans has been extraordinary. The stories that they hear from people about how Batman got them through a dark time in their life, or a difficult childhood, or a challenging home life, um, how much he me means to them, um, is, is really extraordinary. And so I think Batman has a special place in people's hearts. And I think the reason is because of all the superheroes, he's the only one who's actually not a superhero. He has no superpowers. He can't fly, he can't bend metal, he can't see through walls. He's a human being, he's a man, he's like you and me. I mean, he does extraordinary things, but he does them through force of his will and through his physical strength and his passion. Um, and that inspires people because it means that you don't have to have superpowers to have a positive effect on the world, that is true. to give to the world. Um, and that's a wonderful lesson for everybody, that we can all be involved, we can all give what we can of ourselves to leave this world a better place. That's the whole Batman lesson. How do you leave the world a better place? How do you make your life count by leaving the world better than it was before you arrived? That to me is the Batman story. And he just, he means so much to people because we can all do that in one way or another. Everybody can contribute something. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to cure cancer. You can plant a beautiful garden. You can raise a beautiful child. Everyone has something that they can contribute. So that to me is what, what Batman means to people. That, that is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you. seriously, it's absolutely that's that's great to hear of how you you know you embody like Batman. A lot of people, you know, me, I like I told you, I have a Batman tattoo, and uh, on top of it, it actually says it's always darkest people to die. Oh. And you know, just you know, it Batman. When people see Batman, they're like, oh, he's brooding, he's dark, he likes beating up on people. But yet again. Speaking of hope. He's a positive character. Yes. Everything about him is positive. He's just he, emo. <laughs> that's why he never kills. Yes. In our version. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, there's yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It got a little darker. But in our version, he never killed because yeah. life is so important to him. It's precious. There was a wonderful line I loved, which is that uh, um, everything is impossible until someone does it. Um, that's a great Batman. That is that you know there's so many different and just iconic Batman lines. Yeah. So how about you guys? You tell me which one resonated with you the most, and then we'll start with one VIP. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. That look that line to me means so much. It's not who you are underneath. It's what you do with your life. That's what defines you. And I think everyone can live up to that in one way or another. Very well said. <laughs> Very well said. Like, literally, literally, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just sitting here and just, I'm listening to Batman philosophize and I'm just like, yeah. That, that's, a, that's a little... Um, well, he's right an incredible there. character. I mean, there's a reason he resonates with people because he's, in a way, so humble. He never grabs the spotlight. 
He doesn't want to be seen as a hero. He just wants to get the job done. Yeah. Help. And I think that's, there's something so noble about that. There is. And you know what is noble? The first print of that. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we're, we're, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting. We're starting, so there you go, sir. I need the 